Boom! Benny Mac back again. Sky Motor Garage. Here we go, fellas. Uh, Tuesday night. Having a couple of quiet drinks. About 8 30, I reckon. I uh, got a few messages this morning from my mate up in Alaska, QA Dano. Uh, he was talking about the GTX kit he sent me. Apparently, he's got one exactly the same. So. He came up with the idea of what I thought and was both doing the same kit at the same time. Uh, just, just for a bit of fun, no competition, nothing like that. Just see what two builders from the other side of the opposite side of the world can sort of come up with in their own mind. And I thought, yeah, that'd be a pretty cool idea, man. So well, I said yes. So basically we're going to do the GTX kit he sent me. I'll do a quick review in a sec. Um... But yeah, really cool idea, man. I thought that was good. Um, I'm just going to put it out there to anyone else. If you got the same kit, feel more than free to send me a PM and you can jump in and do it as well. Like I said, there's no pressure, no time limit. You can pretty much do whatever you want with the kit. I'm just going to do my unbox stock because I'm still not really into custom cutting and doing all that stuff. So, but yeah. Anyone else is interested, let me know. So it'd be cool to get a few more doing it. Just for something different. Keep the hobby a bit more exciting. So, yeah, good idea. So, thanks, man. And I'll quickly turn the camera off and I'll get the kit ready and I'll give you a look. Alright, fellas, so here it is the Revell 67 Plymouth Plymouth GTX Hemi. I don't know how if it's, I'm not a big car guy, guys, so if I get it wrong, I'm sorry. I don't know if it's Plymouth or Plymouth. You all know what I'm on about. So, I'll give you a quick look. Uh, where does it say? It's made in 1994. And it's a skill level 2. Man, it's really cool, eh? It's been moulded in like a metallic light blue colour. But yeah, it's got some pretty cool lines. And bag of chrome. And got the front and back bumpers, front grille, rocket covers, and you clear and the decals. I might be using my own decals, I think they look a bit yellowed. I heard a tip, you can put them out in the sun and the sun will bleach them back to white, so I might give that a go. And you got your instructions, got your usual quick talk and run down on the car. And you got your engine, body assembly. Interior assembly and chassis assembly. They mind the Ravel kits, they're normally pretty good and well detailed in the instructions. So, yeah, that looks pretty good. It's got about eight steps. <coughs> and tyres. I don't know, I might, if anything, I might put different tyres on it. I don't know, see what, how I go. Alright, everything else is moulded in the same blue. So you got your interior, your seats, your front dash, uh, radiator, steering wheel. Looks like a couple of bits of suspension. And the rear chassis. Yeah, looks like it's got a fair bit of detail. And that's one thing I love about Ravel. They don't normally have much flashing. And then you got the suspension, fan for the radiator, a few other bits and pieces, the pedals. And the interior, pretty cool detail on the doors. Battery, exhaust, 
exhaust, engine blocks. And lucky last, <coughs> the firewall, exhaust, and it looks like a piece of the dash, and the hood. And there's also a couple of red, a couple of red tail lights I guess they must be. So that's about it fellas. Doesn't looks like a pretty sweet little kit. I don't know, I've got no idea what I'm gonna do with it. I just thought I'd do a quick review anyway before it kicks off and give you guys a look at what we're doing. Thought it'd be a bit of fun, so that's about all I've got for you tonight guys. So uh, let me know what you think. Um you guys have a good day and again a good night wherever you're from. Uh, Benny Mac, I'm out of here.